welcome my lovelies welcome welcome back to the tracy trendy show welcome my lovelies yes Woo! my goodness i finally got through some of the mess on twitter that caleb left behind and through all of caleb messiness all that trash he spewed everywhere online i think there was a seed of something. You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, there seemed to be a little bit of treasure in Caleb's trash. Yes, can you believe that? Because Caleb managed three things, three things in that trash pile. He managed to form two groups, okay? One group against Justine, and one group who's believing his lies about Justine and who are disappointed in Justine. And I will be reading those tweets. And Caleb managed to get Justine to speak. And that got a lot of fans upset. Okay? And some people think he's still able to manipulate Justine and harm her. Okay? So he managed three things. Okay? I'm trying to look at my notes because I was like, what? I tried to make heads or tails out of this. So he did manage to get two groups of people, people who believe his lies and some of the fans to turn on Justine. Okay. And also to get her to uh, speak up. Uh, and of course he does something almost every day now. And it's very hard. It's making it really hard to get these videos out in, in a coherent fashion because already I'm going to switch gears just a little bit, just a little bit. Already, I look on Caleb's story, and he's asking for more charity money. I'm like, can we pay for the first charity first? Why are you trying to get some money, a black charity for Trayvon Martin? You stay yourself out of these black charities, any kind of charity. Stay away, Okay. So people know, you know what? You got to watch the Tracy Trendy show. You cannot, you cannot be giving Caleb any more money. Pay the damn charity first. The first one. Pay that one off first. Don't start asking for another round of money, Caleb. Okay? And please stop using black people. Stop it with the charities. Go get a nine to five. I told you there was work at the call center. Go get that work at the call center. My goodness. Woo, that makes me so mad. Oh, let me take a breath. So I got that out of my system, okay? If anybody's giving Caleb money, that's on their damn ass, okay? Mm. Some people are asking, Caleb, why are you treating Justine like you hate her? Talking down to her and show some decency and give the girl some peace. Now, right now, Justine is in Miami. It seemed like damn forever going maskless and stuff. And fans are having, feeling some kind of way about that. Okay, you're playing around too much, Justine. Slap a mask on your face if you're going to be out there partying. All right? My goodness. If they're going to take a picture, slap that mask on your face at least to the least bit. Okay? If you're going to do this, um, being a, you know, an influencer, you got to take it seriously. Now, I know you need that holiday. I know you need, need that vacation. Because uh, you can't even be party in peace without um, helping responding to Caleb's mess that he decided to have on Twitter. Now, let me school you guys if you haven't already know. Um, some fans were upset because Justine came online and it seemed to them like she was defending Caleb. Now, let me write, get her exact tweet, okay? I want her exact tweet. Okay, here it is. Now, Caleb is saying for the longest he's having death threats, okay? And, and this, it's on Twitter, and some people are saying it's an empty account, and he's probably created it himself because he said it from day one. I'm getting death threats, or the second day of announcing that they split. Now, all of a sudden, he's back to, swirling back to that whole that narrative that he's receiving death threats. So... Evidently, he's um, interrupting her vacation. So here she comes on Twitter. This is the first time she spoke after the split in regards to anything with him. Here's her exact words. I cannot and will not ever support hateful, derogatory, violent comments 
or death threats, even if they are in support of me, especially if they're in support of me. Anyone that knows me even a little bit knows that it is something I will never stand for. Please, y'all, these are people. Now, I understood what she was going for. I wasn't really particularly offended by Justine's tweet, but some people felt a couple of ways. Some people felt like, okay, damn, you're speaking up now for the first time after the announcement of the split. Why are you using it on his behalf? So they were kind of pissed off because people were pouncing on Caleb. And I said, let the fans drag him. He's a grown ass man. Why are you calling up a woman? Her shoulders are too delicate to support your ass, your yellow ass, okay? So anyway, anyhow, that's what some fans are mad. Don't come to his rescue. He never came to your rescue, Justine. Justine, I know the predicament that she was in. Okay, what if by fluke this was true and somebody has a death threat on Caleb? She could have said the same thing, but she probably could have kept those last two sentences off. She could have been kind of cute with it. She could have said, hey, uh, no death threats, uh, dragging, continue, okay? But no death threats. So anyway, anyhow, um, some people took offense because she went on a little bit too long. And they were saying, like, he never supported you. He never supported you. And here he is, something he started himself. Now you have to come rescue his ass and you're on vacation. And they said it was all his fault. He started it. Now he got to be a man to finish it. Don't be coming looking for a black woman to rescue you. You don't even like black women. And Justine, they feel like you don't have enough self-esteem. He's a grown ass man. Everybody has a battle. Everybody, he, it's words. Okay. No one popped the bullet in him. No one's going to waste the bullet in him. But even if you thought, and I agree, you need to just say, hey, all right, everything's off. Everything's on the table except that, okay? Dragging, go on. You know, she's got to be cute with it. No one wants to see her sucking up to Caleb. Caleb is persona non grata. He's mm, the untouchable. Nobody wants anything to do with him. So I would not be attaching any kind of sympathy for Caleb. And, um, so some people says you still won't apologize to his lying fans, lying about the cancer donation and lying about voting. They're just all mad. So these are the things the fans are really mad about. And then Caleb really had no answer. I told that in my last video, he had no answer. So now he's going to bring out, you know, the Hail Mary. Oh my goodness. I'm getting death threats. He couldn't answer. Where's the money for the charity? He couldn't answer why he dogged out Justine. He couldn't answer clearly whether he was cheating, even though there's receipts. He couldn't. Matter of fact, he couldn't present receipts that he paid a charity, let alone that he wasn't seeing anyone. I think the cheating was just whatever. But when he talks about the manipulation using Black Lives Matter and Black Love and all and, and fraud and charities, it was a bit too much. So Justine, stay out of it. I said in the other videos, let the fans do the dragging. You come back on your own and not on his platform when he's talking and he brought this war on and let him finish it. Grown ass man. Um, uh, so someone said to Justine, death threats are obviously out of pocket. It's crazy that um, you had nothing to say in defense of yourself since the breakup. While you were basically letting him manipulate this crazy story in his mind. People will start to look at you sideways, hon, because of your silence. Now, I'm, on, I'm down with her silence for now, okay? But if she's going to say something, don't waste it on Caleb. And if you wanted to post something, why don't you just post it? If he's on Twitter, you go on Instagram. You know, keep the violence, you know, the bullets out whatever you gotta say but make it cute and someone says uh justine he doesn't deserve your defense he never defended you he got exactly what he set out to get you know damn well that was a no death threat shaking my head uh and i told her not to say a goddamn thing why are you running your mouth now uh, now i gotta think of something to clean you clean this all up 
So anyway, someone else is talking to Justine. He says, Justine, his family and friends will call you everything under the sun. And he never defended you once. You defended him against troll accounts after you were broken up. And he didn't speak up for you at all. And someone says, love yourself. Some people are calling her a bird. My goodness. So someone says, if you're going to speak out, at least defend your own self. And your own name while you're at it. And why are you capping for this um, con man, thief, who spent all last night dragging your name through the mud over some fake accounts he probably made to himself um, to send those threats? So uh, a lot of people are thinking that they were fake accounts because he had, he said, uh, death threats on day two. And I'm sure they were these always these little hollow accounts. Um, someone says she's got bird behavior. This is, this is why he keeps playing you. You're too nice and you keep getting taken advantage of. It's one thing to not defend yourself and ignore it, but to defend this dumb, ooh, I'm not going to say anymore. I'm trying to keep it clean. And someone, I, you know, and I believe this one, if you're going to stay quiet, then stay quiet and I will support it. But the fact that this is what you choose to get on the internet for. So, uh, let me see what else. Let me see. Let me see. So, okay. Someone says, hey, love, support you loads. But regardless of the death threats, this is the first time you spoke up about the situation since you released your breakup statement. And it's in defense of him. That's alarming. Do with what you will. Something. Do with that with what you will. Um, and so someone says, um, Johnny got several um, death threats. And what did Sally say? <laughs> Where was her tweet? And someone says, I'm waiting. I said it before and I'll say it again. Justine appeared strong in the house, giving Sally advice about standing up for herself. And she's looking pretty weak in these streets. Uh, someone says Justine is a bigger person and always will be blessed. Justine didn't defend him. She only stated, stop sending death threats on her behalf. Did uh, Justine say, stop dragging him? Did Justine say, stop messing up his bag? Did, I, did Justine say, follow him again on social media? I just want her name and brand tied to death threats. I guess she says she doesn't want her name tied to death threats. Uh, okay, and someone says, okay, so just, this is a good one. Okay, so Justine speaks up against Caleb. One death threat, his one death threat. Mind you, Johnny had plenty Um, he, he claimed to receive. So Caleb said he had one death threat. However, Caleb was on here last night calling her fans creeps, psychos, and dummies. And she was nowhere to be seen. She sat that one out. Justine, I still like you, but come on, sis. Uh, so anyway, so I guess at one point, Justine never came and responded and said anything else. I guess she said, fuck y'all, I'm out of here partying in Miami. Okay, I'm chilling with my girlfriend. So that's about it. That's all for now, okay? And, um, you know, Caleb is out here trying to hustle, trying to get his bag going. Fans are going to still be magnificent, and they're going to try to block every move, his every move, okay? Um, so that is mm -mm -mm, the tea for now. Caleb is not silent. He is going on and on and on. Oh, 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 there was something. It was, this is like a jokey joke. I thought was quite entertaining. He posted on his, um, did I get that one? Did I post it? Um, well, anyway, I don't have it. He was being, um, snarky to a fan on his Instagram page. <laughs> you probably can go read it. I don't have it. So it's not all that, but you know, it just, just proves his character. He's not the Mr. Wholesome guy that he portrays to be. And I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to do career wise. 
other than, as I said, now this is my career advice for Caleb, is go to the call center. <laughs> Get a job so I can hang up on your ass. Yeah, go go to the call center. All you have to do is ring me up and I'm going to keep hanging up. You keep calling me and one time I might be in a playful mood and I might say, oh, baby, what you wearing? And then you get to hang up on me. Okay? That's how it's going to go. There is work at the call center. Now, Justine, I need you to get your ass back in back home. Okay? Get your ass out of Miami. Your playtime is over. It's time to work now, sister. It's time to work. Okay? And uh, you need to be very conscious about uh, your partying. You can do whatever you want, but uh, keep it on the down low. And, you know, just keep it cute. You need to find a, um, a mentor to mentor you into your, you know, you want to do this Instagram hosting and being a uh, have any sponsors? So you're gonna to have to find a mentor or at least patting yourself after a one because this honey girl, this ain't cute. You can't be spending your time with Caleb and thinking about his safety. Okay, if he's scared, call the damn cops nine one one. What the hell are you gonna do? What the hell are you going to do? You are a woman. You got slim shoulders, hot body. Okay. That's all you got. You got brains, but you got too much of a heart. You can't defend Caleb. You're not even in the same state. You put your word out, whatever you want, but you put it on your page. You don't put it on his Twitter feed or nothing. You don't tag him. Nothing. Okay? Get your ass back home. Find yourself a good IG mentor. And, you know, get it going, Okay? You got the Fenty thing going. See if you can start um, doing some Ivy Park for Beyonce. See if you can get on uh, Dancing with the Stars. Okay? You need to get this bag rolling. Don't have people looking at you sideways. They're going to look at you twice. You know, somebody that's not black, they're not going to have a problem with it if they're running around maskless. Okay? But you out here and they're going to be talking with your, their name, your name in their mouth. Okay? They're going to have your name in their mouth. So get your ass back home. And come up with a plan, okay? All right? Now, this is a little setback. A little set, setback in your hand. A little sweat. That's it. Take a deep breath and get your shit together. All right? Okay, my lovelies. If you like what you hear, don't hesitate to uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the subscription button. Okay? And the notification bells. So you can get the dirt. All right? You can get the dirt. I got some good dirt. If you're a married at first sight fan, I got some juicy, juicy dirt. All right? Bye, my lovelies.